Hello, my lovely author friends. If you're new to writing and you've seen all the hype on YouTube about writing on Medium and you think it would be a good idea to make money that way, can I stop you for just one moment and ask you to consider writing fiction instead? Hi there, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Oliver. You can see it down there. Um, I am a fiction writer, I am self-published, I have written over a hundred novels and I will be celebrating my 10-year publiversary uh, on the 26th of February this year, 2024. So I have got a lot of experience in writing fiction stories. However, I also have experience in writing on Medium because in November of last year when I was quietly bored and wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with myself, I had seen all this hype on YouTube about how you know writers of any calibre could basically go on to Medium and if they paid for the uh, Medium Partner Program or whatever it's called, they could um, actually put their work behind a paywall, in which case other Medium readers who were also behind that paywall, would read their stories and the author would make money. And that sounds really positive. You know, it is very difficult for new writers in particular to be on a platform where they can make money almost instantly. And Medium does pay out. Um, I made, uh, I think it was something like $2.50 in November of 2023 on Medium, and Medium paid me. And then in um, December, shock horror, I made $25 on Medium, and um, Medium paid me. And then in January, I think so far, because I have written a lot less articles on there this month, um, I've made $7.50. Now, if you haven't made a cent at all, from your writing, that can actually sound pretty cool. And I understand that. But while I've been on Medium, I have noticed some things, like, for example, the types of articles that are being read on Medium are basically those from other people trying to work out how to make money on Medium. And so it becomes this ever-evolving circle of people trying to read other people's articles in the hopes that they'll learn that secret source, when in effect, only 1% of authors on Medium actually make enough money, like more than $1,000 a month. 1%. And they've been going at it for a long time. So it's understandable that they... Um, yeah, they're not going to tell you their secrets because they're busy making their money, which is fine. But even so, $1,000 a month for a lot of people is not enough, you know, is not enough to live on. And if your goal is wanting to be a full-time author like I am, then I seriously would like you to reconsider your medium idea. Now, I'm not saying don't do it. You may have a skill, you may have something unique that will shine on medium. I don't have that. You know, I, I, I open face say that I don't have that. But the one of the key ways that you have in when you're making money on medium is that you basically have to write every day. You have to publish every day. And that's, you know, if you've got the time, and you can, you know, do like a thousand words or 500 words or whatever it is for your article every day, you can do that. But if you stop writing at all, your readership drops, your income drops. So you kind of get yourself on this treadmill where you're having to publish all the time just to make a few cents. Now, the other confusing thing about Medium is that nobody, and Believe me, I've read scores of articles. Nobody actually understands how Medium works out how much money you get paid per read, for argument's sake. Now, there's been some that have said it's got to do with the amount of engagement an article has. They have a system called CLAPS, where if people read it and they enjoy the article, they will give up to 50 CLAPS. 
and they can or you know they can highlight at parts of your story your article and they can also respond in comments and there are a lot of people on medium who suggest that the amount of money you get paid per read has got to do with that amount of engagement other people have said it's got to do with the amount of followers you have other people say they just don't know and they're the honest ones on medium because nobody does know i could have an article that has had 20 read now this is something else. They have a difference between view and reads. If somebody doesn't stay on your article for a minimum of 30 seconds, then they're classified as a view. And Medium doesn't pay for views. Medium pays for reads. So I could have like 20 views on an article, but only 10 reads. And I might make 50 cents. Or conversely, I could have 10 views on an article, five reads, and make $3.50. There is no rhyme or reason. There is no logic to it. So if you're going forward with a decision to write on Medium, you need to understand that you will have no control over what you are making. But what you will have is a daily grind of having to put those articles out regularly because on the days that you don't put articles out, Medium does not promote your backlist of articles. I currently have, I think it's, I wrote my 49th article on there today because I was actually annoyed about it. <laughs> and I wrote my article on Medium today about that. And, um, yeah, so that's like my 49th article. But as I say, this month I have made $7.54 and I made most of that $7 in the first week in January. And yeah, we're now looking at, I'm recording this on the 27th. So I made 54 cents in three weeks. This is why I promote fiction writing. Now, the difference with fiction writing is if you took that thousand words a day and you wrote every day in a fiction story, and then at the end of your month, you would have a 30,000 word novella, roughly, give or take, you could upload that to Amazon KDP for free. You don't have to be signed into a program to make money on the Amazon KDP um, dashboard. So you can upload your book for free. Now, admittedly, you've got to do things like getting it edited. But chances are, if you're writing well, that you've got somebody, a friend or somebody who can edit it for you. Yes, you need a cover and things like that. But covers are easily gotten from somewhere like Fiverr um, or there's AI. Um, Amazon doesn't have an objection to AI. They just insist that you include that AI was used in your work. So you can do an AI cover. It's really not difficult. But the great thing about Amazon and why I push this as opposed to Medium is because you put a price on your book. So say, for example, I have got a book that I am putting up. I will probably put it up this weekend or early this next week. It'll be coming out. I'm going to put it on pre-order and it will be coming out around the 20th of February. Now, that book for that, I think, is about between 50 and 60,000 words. So I will price that at $4.50. And out of that $4.50, I know I'm going to get 75%, which I think is, is it just a, I think it's just a smidge. I think it's about $3 per title. So I know every time somebody buys my book, I'm going to get $3. If I was one of those, if I was a new author, I would also enroll my books on, on their KU system. Now, I don't do this personally because I do use, you know, I live on my income and I make more money if I sell my titles as opposed to having them on the KU system. But for those of you who don't know, KU is a subscription service where readers can pay a set amount of money each month to Amazon and then they can download these books for free. And how Amazon pays the author 
is by page reads. So if somebody downloads your book and it's on the KU system and they read 100 pages, then you would be paid for 100 pages. If somebody reads the whole book, 200 pages, 300 pages, whatever, you get paid for that. If they go and read the first chapter and don't like it, or they don't finish it at that time, you get paid for the first chapter's worth of reads. And you may get the subsequent chapters in subsequent months if the reader has left the book on their Kindle and continues to read it. The thing is, and the point is, that the amount of money you get paid per page read is minute, like it's tiny. It's something like, I mean, I don't know because I haven't looked recently, but the last time I looked, I think it was naught point naught naught four five cents. So it was about half a cent per page, which is not a lot of money. But what it is, is consistent. Amazon tells you how much money you're going to make per page read or per unit sold right up front. You don't have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is getting people towards your sales page. That's all you have to do. And when you think about it, when you put an article on Medium, you have the same issue except people to read your article on Medium, the people have to go in and have to be part of the payment plan on Medium for you to get any money out of that article at all. So to me, it makes financial common sense. If you are dedicated enough and disciplined enough to be able to write a thousand words every day, you have a novella every month. And the really neat thing about that novella is you put that up on Amazon and you might not see a lot of sales. Or if you put it in KU, maybe you don't get a lot of page reads or maybe you do. You're not going to know until you try. But you do know if anybody interacts with your book at all, you're going to make a certain amount of money, which is really cool. And I'm really annoyed at that car that just went past. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Saturday afternoon here, people, and for some reason or other, there must be a crash up on the main road, and for some reason or another, all the traffic's being diverted around my side road, which is making for a lot of noise. But anyway, we will persist. What was I saying? Yes, you will make a set amount of money according to how many people react with your work. You can't say the same thing on Medium because you just don't know. You are not in control in that. And while it could be argued that Amazon has a control on the money that you make because they are the ones that set the page read amount, that is true. And they can change that at any time and have done in the past because it used to pay a lot more than it does now. But that's only because there's just so many books people use on KU. But they are very fair and transparent in their process, whereas Medium is not. Nobody knows how they get to the amount of the money that you see on your dashboard on Medium every day or every month or whatever. But you can see every day a direct correlation to the number of people who have interacted with your book on Amazon because your money goes up every time. So this is why I believe if you can do this, then you really should give it a consideration. One final thing, one final reason why I think you should use Amazon over um, Medium. If you're a newbie writer looking to make money with your writing career, is that when you are writing fiction, you have this opportunity to develop series. And as with each book, that new book, that you write in your series, like say, for example, you wrote one in February and you put it out at the end of February and then you wrote one in March and it was connected, it was book two in the series, then not only will new people read book two, but they will go back and read book one. And then the same happens again in April when you put out book three and people, new people might come to that and thought, oh, I haven't read this author before. And then they realise you've got two other books. So they buy books one and two as well. 
Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see how that then will look at the end of the year when you have done 11 or 12 books and people, new people are still, but you know, you're still attracting new readers and they're thinking, oh my gosh, she's got this whole series and readers love series. They love binging. It's like they binge on Netflix. They binge everywhere. Well, they love binging with books as well. And if you've built up this series, you've built up this world, people will go back. Every new book you put out is a marketing tool for the books you've written before. So over the course of a year, your potential for income is huge. And not only that, but you can see your potential for that income is directly governed by the prices you put, you know, how much effort you put into social media marketing, because that's the easiest way to, um, to market a, a self-published book. And you can see direct your income is correlated to your effort. You can put that same amount of effort into um medium you could have at the end of the year you could have 300 odd articles on medium and there is still no guarantee at all that you're making more than 10 or 20 dollars a month although it would expect you would expect that eventually it would increase but it's you've got no control over that because you haven't got any idea how medium pays you in the first place or why i just know how i would think my time would be better invested and if you have that discipline to write every day then you are already a winner because that is a really hard thing to do so huge kudos for that but why don't you put your efforts into something that actually does have the potential to make you such a huge amount of money but what's more is that potential is directly related to efforts and actions that you do. It is not dependent on a platform's algorithm. So that's all I had to say about that today, my friends. If you have any questions, comments or anything else, please drop them in the comment section below. If I have given you anything to think about at all, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content to do with making money on Amazon, making money through self-publishing, writing books, marketing books, all those sorts of things that come along with self-publishing, then I hope that you'll subscribe. But in the meantime, I hope you hug the little ones you love, my friends, uh, because, yeah, that's always a good idea. And we will catch you in the next video. Bye.